Welcome to Ignani.com. Microsoft SQL Server 2012. Chapter 2 SQL Server 2012 Tools. Part D Registered Servers and Central Management Servers. Like the Object Explorer, Registered Servers Explorer is an important tool that needs some mention here. In this video, I will be covering Registered Servers Explorer, and will also show you how you can use it. By default, the Registered Servers Explorer appears just above the Object Explorer. If it's not visible, you can show the Registered Servers window by selecting Registered Servers under the View menu, or by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus G. Registered Servers Explorer lists servers which you manage frequently. You can add and remove servers from this list. This area details all SQL Server instances that have been registered on this SQL Server Management Studio installation. It also shows registered servers of type analysis services, and reporting services. Types of registered servers There are two kinds of registered servers. Local server groups, and central management servers. Use local server groups to easily connect to servers that you frequently manage. Both local and non-local servers, are registered into local server groups, and they are unique to each user. The server registrations are stored on the file system. Central Management Servers Store server registrations in the Central Management Server, instead of the file system. Central Management Servers and subordinate registered servers, can be registered only by using Windows authentication. After a central management survey has been registered, its associated registered servers will be automatically displayed. Benefits of Registered Servers Explorer By registering a server, the connection information is preserved so that it can be used for future connections. It allows us to determine whether a registered server is running or not, without having to check out other tools. You can easily connect Query Editor and Object Explorer to a registered server. Allows us to easily edit or delete a registered server's registration information. You can create, edit or delete groups of servers as a server group. It allows us to give user-friendly names for registered servers, by providing a value in the registered server name box that is different from the server name list. You can provide detailed descriptions for registered servers and for registered server groups, that makes it easy to remember. You can export or import registered server groups which makes it easy to have the list of all registered server groups on any computer, without having to recreate it again and again. You can move a registered server or server group anywhere in the tree. You can connect and disconnect from a registered server, wherein it acts as a handy shortcut for connecting, without having to worry about remembering the server details and the credentials to connect. View the SQL Server log files for online or offline instances of SQL Server. You can execute statements against multiple servers simultaneously. Let us see how to make use of registered servers, and registered servers explorer, and reap its benefits. Why should we register a server? By registering a server, the connection information for servers can be saved, which can then be accessed, as and when we require it. A server can be registered before connecting, or at the time of connecting from Object Explorer. How to register a connected server? In the Object Explorer, right-click on a server to which you are already connected, and then click 
register. Since the server is already connected, registration details will be pre-filled. Notice. The server type dropdown is disabled, since we are registering a database engine instance. You can change the other pre-filled details if you would want to change them, or if they are not pre-filled. Server name. Enter the name you want to use for the registered server. Registering a local or remote server, using SQL Server Management Studio, lets you store the server connection information for future connections. This field defaults to the server name entered when you were connecting to the server. You can retain this server name, or enter another easy to use name for the server. Server description. Enter an optional description for the server. The maximum number of characters allowed is 250. Click test, to test whether the connection information is correct. A dialog box will confirm whether the details entered are correct or not. Click save, to save the information you have entered and create a registered server. You can see the instance is now shown as a node under the local server groups. How to create a new registered server? In the Registered Servers Explorer, right click on either the local server groups node, or on the name of any registered servers group node, and select New Server Registration. This will display the new server registration dialog. Fill in the following information. Server type. The new server registration dialog box knows that we are registering a database instance. Hence, this option is disabled. Server name. Select, or type in the server name. The format should be, server name backslash instance name. I will select one from the drop down. Authentication. As explained in our earlier video of this chapter, SQL Server supports two types of authentication, Windows Authentication and SQL Server Authentication depending on the configuration. I will leave it to default. Registered Server Name The name you want to appear in registered servers. This name does not have to match the server name box. However, Notice it's pre-filled with the same name as that of the server instance that I selected earlier. I will change this to default instance. We'll enter a short description in the registered server description field. However, this is optional. It's always best to test before saving. Click test, to test the connection. Once you get the confirmation, you are good to save it. Click save. To save the registered server settings. Notice, it appears below the previously registered server. Now that we know how to create registered servers, let us group them together. We can create registered server groups, and place these registered servers, so as to make the management of registered servers easier. How to create a server group? Let me show you, how to organize the servers in Registered Servers Explorer, by creating server groups, and placing the registered servers in these server groups. Server groups can be created in Registered Servers Explorer at any point of time. To create a server group in Registered Servers, select the server type on the Registered Servers toolbar, and right click a server or a server group and then from the shortcut menu that appears, select New Server Group. In the New Server Group dialog box that appears, give a name for the server group. Make sure, the server group name is unique for the current location in the registered service tree. You can enter a description if you would like to provide in the group description list box. Click OK to save. And that is all it takes to create a server group. 
There can be situations wherein you might want to update the registered server or the registered server group. To edit a registered server's registration, right click a server in registered server's explorer tree, and then click properties. In the edit server registration properties dialog box that appears, make the necessary changes. Once you are done, click save to update. To edit a registered server group, right click a server group in the registered server's explorer tree, and then click properties. In the edit server group properties dialog box that appears, make the necessary changes, and click How to move a registered server, or server group. Server groups can contain registered servers, or other server groups. Both servers and server groups can be moved from one server group to another. This topic describes how to organize the registered servers or server groups, by moving them. Let us move a registered server into the server group we created earlier. Right click on the registered server, and then click move to. This opens up the move server registration dialog box. Expand the list of server groups, click the server group where you want to move the selected item. Click OK. To move server groups, the procedure is same as moving a registered server. Once the servers are registered, you can use the registered explorer to connect to them. To connect to a registered server, in registered servers explorer, double click on a server that you wish to connect. I have added a few more registered servers. In real time scenario, the number of registered servers and server groups will be huge. You will not always be working on the same computer. It will be difficult to create the same setup of registered servers on all the computers you use. Exporting and importing registered server files lets you easily configure several systems with the same setup. This is very useful for managing a large number of servers from computers in several locations, or to configure a less experienced user with basic connection settings. Registered Servers Explorer allows us to save and export registered server information, and distribute it to other employees or servers. How to export registered server information? To export registered server information, right click on an individual server, a server group, or the local server groups, and then click export from the tasks submenu. In the export registered servers dialog box, select an individual server, a server group, or the complete tree that has to be exported. Export functionality is recursive, that means everything under selected node, including the selected node will be exported. Next, enter the name of the export file in the text box, or use the browse button to locate an export file, either on the client computer, or on another computer on the network. If you select an existing file as your export file, the contents of the file are overwritten with the server registration information. Click OK to export the file. Now that we have exported the server information, let me delete the exported server group with the registered servers within it, and use the exported file to import the content back. How to import registered server information? In Registered Servers Explorer, select the server type from the toolbar. Make sure the server type is same as the registered server export file type. For example, you must select Database Engine if you have exported Database Engine registered server information. Right click a server group and select Import from the Tasks submenu. 
in the import registered servers dialog box that appears, enter the name of the import file in the text box with the complete path, or click the browse button to locate the import file. Select the root node or a particular server group to which the registered server entries in the file will be imported. Click OK to complete importing. In the next video, I will introduce you to the query editor. You can find a lot of free video tutorials training materials, how to videos, and much much more at our site www.ignani.com. Post all your questions at our site. We will be happy to help you. We want your learning process to be as interactive as possible. Feel free to contact us.